hour again. Cool. You know, I'll tell you. He's not, he's not even set up for oh. it. You gotta go. We look like, uh, we look like Ken and Brian. Look, I'll, uh, tell dad, you, uh, dad and I'll tell you something, though. I've been enjoying our little campfire here tonight. This is nice. So in case you guys haven't noticed, it's uh, it's a, you know, we're doing a little it's bit of camping theme. theme. Outdoor week. Hello, folks. Everybody. John and Nicole. How are you doing? Denoy Woodcrafting. Good to see you guys on again. Just have we love to have these repeats. We love having you guys on. You guys are, are great, uh, are great uh, supporters. Great support, absolutely. Yeah. We got cooking in the pot there, Doc. Oh, so. nothing. It's just an image, eh? You, you get away with it. You get, people don't really realize that that's just an image. You could have said anything. You could have yeah, been chilling there. Yeah, no, everybody knows. No. Now they do. Well, you know what though? It's a nice, uh, it's a nice little setup because although it's a lot of flame right now for cooking. Still, it would be a nice little setup if you can see it. That's why we okay, picked nice. it because it's nice. We like camping. Yeah, you guys uh, do a lot of camping. You do a lot of outdoor stuff. Uh, let us know. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy are enjoying the, the week of uh, outdoors for WTI. You know, we try to keep mix it up, do a little fun things from time to time. Good evening to you too, <laughs> Crocodile Dundee, man. It's Crocodile Dundee. Oh uh, yeah, I'm doing the whole. That's good. Dundee thing today. It's Ken and Brian that uh, Jeff said. That's yeah. true. That's right. Uh, no, but listen, we're going to do, uh, the first thing we wanted to do for you guys while we're waiting for everybody to come on is, uh, what's your favorite outdoor activity? So well, we'll go ahead and... So what you're going to want to do to enter this one, as we get started, is put in your favorite emoji, outdoor emoji, whether it, whatever it is, find an emoji, put it on, and you're going to be entered doing some cool WTI stuff. Yeah. You so know, like, we, whatever it is, if it's a little fishing guy emoji, or if it's a hunting, or... A, and if you can't find an emoji, just type what it is that you like to do for outdoors. Yeah. All right? And then Kate will choose someone. Somebody will pick something. Fishing yeah, is probably going to be number one because it's easy to find an emoji list. A campfire will do. Uh, yeah. Maybe a bear or a raccoon. Whatever you want. Yeah. So do you guys go outdoors much? Do you camp much? Do you hunt or fish? What do you guys like to do? When was the last time you went out? <laughs> Whoever said that is funny. Uh, Mike, something, something said, why can I only see Josh's legs in mass top? <laughs> because you got the camel on and I got the camel. Oh, that's it. That's what I, I was wondering, Mark, is the camera position right? <laughs> Funny. I guess. So, uh, yeah, so I, as usual, what we're going to do tonight is uh, you, you're putting in your stuff that you like to do. Uh, I mean, we're going to pick a random winner, Kate from behind the scenes, who did all the work, is going to do that for us tonight. She's going to send me a message. I'm going to relay who it is. You guys have to DM us and... Uh, once you find out you're the winner and uh, send us a private message, and we'll get you. And make sure you announce to your friends that the live is on tonight. Let them know. Yeah. And get on here. You guys are going to want to realize, too, that I'm Matt, and that's Josh, in case you didn't know, because you're going right. to know that later on today. Tall guy with the camera on top is Josh. Yeah. Okay, so we have our first winner, and he or she is. What happened? Nothing. I'm just looking at the wrong one. Uh, Rainbow Hearts. Greg, Greg is Elena. Greg, Greg is Elena. It's not. That's not a hard name. Greg, right? Greg Zelina. Greg a Zelina. Yeah. Greg is Elena. Greg is Elena. Congratulations, you. What did you win? You won some WTS swag. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have my camp chair here for this, guys. Watch the hat. Don't want to hit anybody. No. Nope. Let me show you this here. Everybody likes this. Uh, this is like Hunter Orange. You know, so it's, I like it, actually. My kids don't want me to wear this when I go to the mall with them. I don't know why. I feel it's great. They're able to see me from a long ways off. You should really make them wear it so you see But that. that's, the, uh, that's the WTI hat, guys, just so you know. And that's for uh, Greg, was it? Look at those and then, of course, there's the uh, WTI T-shirt. Congratulations. Congratulations. That was to get the ball rolling here, right, guys? Lots to do. Now, I know we promised you that you're going to see... Sam and Kate on the show today. You get tired of looking at our ugly mugs. So yeah, I get tired of looking at our faces. What we're going to do is we're going to bring on Sam for our next giveaway. Let's watch. It's going to be a Southwire giveaway. Yeah. And we're going to be giving away some great stuff. So have a look at the cameras. Let's see what. Hey, guys. Sam here. Thank you so much for tuning into our live game show tonight. Here in South Florida, one of our favorite outdoor activities. I'm sure this will be no shock to you guys. It's right behind me. Coming to the beach. Paddleboarding, snorkeling, just relaxing. We love it. So what 
what we want to know is what percentage of salt is the ocean? And a hint is the percentage ends with 0.5. So get your answers into the comments below. We'll choose a random winner. And that winner will receive an awesome set of South Flyer swag that will be perfect for your next trip to the beach. Yeah. What did All you right. think? We, did we deliver or what? Yeah, we promised. We promised that you'd see the girls, and you did. Now, they'll be on uh, live one of these days uh, as we can work it out. But did you get that? That uh, trivia question is, what percentage of the ocean is salt? And the hint is, ends in 0.5%. That's what you got to figure out. Find out that, get the answer in, and we're going to pick. There really is nothing like swimming in the ocean. Because we're from northern Ontario, and yeah. like all grown up, you're in, you're in fresh water, right? With the blood suckers. <laughs> I was just explaining that to my wife. I stepped in a nest of blood suckers one time. Thousands. Yeah, they, they keep down here. They don't even know what a blood sucker is. It was disgusting. It's a blood a sucker. A leech. It's a leech. It, it's a little slug looking thing that puts a hook in you. Sucks literally sucks the blood out of you. Yeah. It's nasty. It's nasty. It's nasty. Yeah, and so you know, you, so you go to the beach. You bring a thing of salt with you to get them off. Here in the ocean over here, you don't have to worry about that. You worry about sharks, so sharks. That's a little and, different. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, shocking eels. Yeah. Screaming eels. The screaming eels. You've heard of those. Uh, but yeah, so I, I mean, I love being at the ocean. It's just really nice. So that's what we do here in Florida, like Sam said. Yeah. So, are you guys ready for the winner? Why don't you get that here? You're oh, turn your side. Well, I gotta be the guy getting up all the time here. <laughs> I'll do it one time. All right. What's the next? The, the winner is, is K Mate, and the answer is three point five percent is salt in the ocean. Right. Now this person won a South Wire. No. Oh, it's upside down. A South Wire beach towel. It's actually really nice material. You're gonna love it. Yeah. South Wire. Um, right. Beach towel. And. Oh, that's right. It's not all. And. The South Wire. Muscle shirt tools and equipment with the razor back. Right. And. But there's more. No, wait. There's more. This is really cool. It's uh like a not a turbo. I don't know if you can call them turbos, right? But whatever. One of those. They keep your drinks cold. Very it's, nice. And it, it's conveniently just big enough to not fit in your cup holder. Thank you, Southwire. But it will keep your drinks cold. Southwire always provides us with some great They got some great stuff, stuff like this for you guys. So we got to thank them and support them, guys, whenever possible. Put this over here. For all your projects, choose Southwire. Yeah, especially for electrical. They have some really good stuff. Growing up, I was a long way down. Well, it's the seat. I'm going to bust this chair. That's why I can't get up. Because if I get up and I always say, I got to fall down. And these chairs have been in Matt's closet now for a long time, and I can feel them <laughs> ripping. Just the fact if I get just lower and lower to the floor, just let it go. Just let it happen. Don't bring it up, please. <laughs> It'll be fun. Everybody likes to do that. All right, so the next game. People are saying great job, Sam. I agree. Yes. Very, very well done. Very, very well, well done. done. Very well done. All right, so the next game is. Uh, number three. Number three. I don't even read which, it anymore. Which is. Oh, yes. Which is a game that get up again for this one. I wasn't in on the uh, the games very much this time around. I, I missed the meeting, and uh, and so I'm voted to to get blindfolded. Okay, so I gotta get. I'm gonna get blindfolded, and I'm gonna <laughs> take good. items that you're gonna use while you're outdoors. Okay. Is that too tight? No, that's good. Can I tighten it for you? Sure. How's that? That's it. I can't see. Do you, does it smell like grease at all? I use that one. It does. It smell like caulking and beer. So, yeah, I don't need to have the, the new the new rig. You know? So I don't know what's in the box, and there's I don't know how many. Do we know how many items? Uh, what is it? I think it's ten items. It's the, I don't I just make sure that. Right? Yeah, one, well, uh, ten. Okay. And, and there's, uh, ten, there's ten items, and uh, but there's no fish hooks or anything in there. So don't worry I about sure that on your finger. Yeah. I'm not going to play that on you. He's probably putting you in there. You never know what could be in there. You never know. At least. And I'm missing something. And it's, oh yeah, you oh here's what you guys gotta do. Oh yeah. You have to pick how many he's gonna get right. Okay? So it's between one and ten. Pick how many. Is he only gonna get one right? You may want to go with that number. But whichever one. Oh, you falling asleep already there? Is that your little nice. night uh... Alright, so here you go. Now put your hand in here. I wonder if this would help with the uh what are you doing? bags in the red eyes. I don't know where you are. Just yeah, just grab it. Just grab something. Grab one item and pull it out. And let's 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 see. What do you got there? It's a little rope. It's a rope. Yeah, as well, you're close. Um, with a knobby. A 
that spins. Can they see this? Yeah, you sit down. You sit down. You zoom right in on it. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, this opens up. It's a fa it's a magnifying glass. I bet. A magn. What am I do with a magnifying glass? It's, a, it's like, like a compass. Um, hey, you got one right. Good for you. I'm very proud of you. I hope whoever chose one. I'm one sweating. Right. This was. Uh, this is covering my whole head. All right. To the other one now. Is it a mouth guard? Oh, in one shot. I thought I would get you with that one. That's yeah. if you didn't get that. Uh, it fits my teeth perfectly. Mouth guard. So you know, like outdoor sports, sports. like boxing. Boxing. Kind of thing. All right, here you go. Get in there. How many have I got this right so far? You can't keep changing the numbers. Make this is a funnel. A funnel. Three. He looked in the box. Did he look not, in the box? I did not look, I promise you. If I, I have out, very sensitive if hands. If I find out that you looked in the box. My, the, I have so many nerves in my hands. I'm put something else in there. See what you got now. Ted pig. Okay, that, well, yeah, I kind of figured you'd get that one. Just wait. Let's hurry up. Now I'm getting upset because you're getting all these. I tried very hard to pick things you wouldn't get. Ooh. This is a GoPro camera case. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Wait, wrong. It's a GoPro camera. You said camera oh, case. Oh, okay. It's a GoPro camera. All right, we'll give it to him. Dang it. Wait, just wait, Val. All right, this one we're going to get him on. This is a shotgun empty shell. Yep. But what? What gauge? What gauge? <laughs> uh, it's, I would, I, my guess is going to be because you don't have access to 410s or anything. Like that. That's probably 12 gauge. This, my friend, is a... Is it a 12 gauge like um, um, buckshot? No, it's a 16 gauge. Is it a 16? It was a little bit smaller. Yeah, that sucker. It was still shotgun shot. This is a, a, a frog fishing bait. Okay, that one's right. Don't put it back in the box. This is a bobber. I can tell because when you push it down the string, Good. it goes bobber. Good. You got two more. Let's just do this faster here. A bullet. Maybe a, a 30 out 6. And yeah, a close pin. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. You got nine right. Woo! Nine was the answer. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, I'm not right. happy. I am not happy. I tried very hard to get all kinds of things he would not get. Nailed it, guys. So good for whoever got it, whoever chose nine. Well, uh, there's only nine things. And they're putting in nine now. What? There's only there's nine. ten things, and you only got nine right. Oh, I didn't get the 16 gauge shotgun shell. That's right. Okay. You got a 30 out 6 right. Whoever got 9, did I get 30 out 6? You got 30 out 6 right, so I didn't give you a problem with that one. Still pretty good. I'm still pretty impressed. And this is what whoever won, won. We're getting a winner right now. Yeah, we're getting a winner right so now. you guys right? won the tent. It's a Coleman Instant Tent now. So, uh, it, it, you uh, you unfold it, and then you just, it's just uh, you fold it, fold it, fold it, and then you put it in the thing, and then it just pops up literally. In one minute, so it's an awesome tent. Matt has one that's. That, I have the uh, I have the twelve man one. Yeah, like literally the twelve man one, and it's like a. Um, it's it's a. Oh, we froze here. Right? Yeah, it's okay. You'll figure it out. It's it's like the, it's like a giant cabin. Yeah, it huge. really is. It's huge. It's uh, you you can fit as many people in there as you can possibly yeah. imagine. It's got two rooms on each end. Great big thing in the middle. I really enjoy, uh, the Coleman. The yeah, it's, it's, it's they do a good job with it. All right. Well, let's hold on here because we've got to help him connect there, Mark. Yeah. Well, we. Hey, man, do you need me to help you connect something? You just wait now. We can't me. see the TV, so. Hmm. But anyways, right. we got to wait for the winner. We got to announce the winner here. So we were, I, was, I was literally in the keys like uh, a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. Not even not, two weeks ago with my wife, and I was sitting in my twelve man tent on the side of the ocean. Yeah. But the wind was blowing constantly and folding it in half the whole time. When, yeah. when it's that big, it's like a giant kite. So it's not good for a windy area, but you got to be like, you know, in the woods. Are, you, yeah. Is it, are you connected to the TV too, Mark Morris? Are we on, are we on Instagram now? Okay. okay, great. If we're back on, guys, we'll give you the winner. You right, winner? so we have the winner. What you were winning and playing for was this tent, right? And whoever <laughs> missed it, it's just, it's an instant cabin for a four person. It fits two queen size air mattresses. Great product. You're gonna love it. 150 dollars. And the winner was Elliot BR74. 
Elliot VR74. So congratulations to Elliot VR74. That was a great tip and a good guess. I'm pretty impressed with how much I got. I, I, I'm surprised how many you got. I, that's good for you. Good for you, and I'm not happy about that. Yeah, that's all right. But what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next um, game, yeah. which is another challenge that Josh and I did. It's called the Fire Starter Challenge. So we're actually going to give you a video of Josh and I outside. Before, before we pull it up, yeah. before we play it, we do want people to realize that you have to guess whether oh, I yes. or Josh actually start the fire. Now remember, First. this isn't this isn't using matches or yeah. any other means. It's by um, by a flint, okay, flint and stone. Now you had a flint. I had magnesium. Yeah, so he wanted you. He yeah, I, I had a flint and magnesium. Right. That was the flint. two products that we were trying out. Right. Made the flint. The flint you make. Uh, the, the magnesium you make a pile and you start it. The flint you uh, start. Right. Okay, okay. So, so those are the two. So which one of us starts the fire fastest? All right. So All that's right. what we're gonna do. So we're gonna play that video we're now. Play the video for you. But well, give them a second here. Let them get some guesses in. Which one, Matt or Josh, gets? The, who gets it right? Who gets it? Who now you can only guess right? one time. You can't guess twice. Right. And then Kate's going to pick somebody. She'll pick somebody out of that. Yeah. All right, let's play the video. And I want you guys to enjoy. Well, you got to wait. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Zoom in. Maybe it's crap. It is not. Here you go, Matt. Do it fast. All right. Two, three. I got to see this. Oh, I got to see this. Look at you. Look at you. Just kind of, you got it. It's not bear. Girls do this. Look at mine. Not working. You're using coarse horse tape. That is a dry as tinder. But look, look at that. Right there. I got a little bit of fire there. I can't even see what you're doing behind your hat. You can be doing anything back there. It doesn't work with a <laughs> Look at this. How about... Keep guessing. Did anybody else see this? Oh. Good. Let's see. Now you got it. <laughs> Look at that thing. It won't even give me a spark. So, well, you got I had a hard time a little bit about maintaining it, right? So, it took me about a minute to, to get a fire to actually stick and maintain it, where I finally do get it. I got fire a lot, but didn't really uh, get it caught until right now. And now it's good and caught. <laughs> you throw the. <laughs> I mean, I had to help him with this. So I just... First of all, don't buy this. <laughs> Look at it. I, got, I was a little disappointed, okay? Because that was a junk tool. It didn't work. That's why tools are so important, getting the right tool. Well, that, you know what? That was a lot of fun. And because uh, and, and, you don't often get to do that. You don't often get it this time. But it's easy to do. Yeah, it's just a minute. Yeah. I mean, I would have froze to death, but you would have been able to. Well, don't use the big giant. You would have saved yourself and your family. Yeah. You, I would have let you fire. I would have I, given you. I believe you would have. Did we froze? I believe you would have. There's no question in my mind. It's a grand though. Um, so. There's no question in my mind you'd lend me some fire if I needed it and feed my family for me. And yeah. I appreciate that. So, congratulations on that one. So, we have to wait to see yeah, who it was. I think uh, Kate already sent it to me. Oh, she sent you a, who it was? So, I think so. Yes, it is. Are we connected? Still? Yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. A recrafted by Ryan. Recrafted underscore by underscore Ryan. What did he win? Oh, recrafted. Yes. Boom. Milwaukee. So you know Milwaukee is sponsoring one tool at our show every week, right? And, and so this is the tool that they're they've chosen to sponsor today. It's a uh, M12. The M18? Uh, 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 M18, I can M18. say, I'm sorry. M18, M18. M18 uh, it isn't M12, it's an M12 uh, com compact oh. light. I thought it was M18. Okay, M12. And uh, really great. It has a spotlight on it. It has a couple of really great features, really rugged. I have that light. I personally have that light, and it works yeah. awesome. I won it you, a long time ago. Yeah, so you won't need that. If you need fire for lights, you can use this instead. Don't trust yeah. your skills at starting a fire. I'll always bring that with me, just in case, because yeah. you never know. You never know. So that was fun. I actually really enjoyed that little thing. Yeah, well, because you actually won. No, no, I wanted, Congratulations. I wanted you to win. I'm sick of you winning these, all these different challenges. You never want to do one that I can win. 
but I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. Moving on to number five. We're going to do a trivia video. This one's for Kate, and we need a monitor. Yeah, so actually, so Kate's going to be giving away something from Tough Tested, right? We all love Tough Tested. There are some great products. Yeah. Let's see what our giveaway is. Hey, guys. I hope you're having a really great time so far. So the next prize we're giving away is actually powered by the sun. So what I want to know is how many seconds does it take for the sun to reach the surface of the earth? So let us know in the comments below, and I'll choose a random winner. Does she yes. mean... Does she mean the actual sun to reach the Earth? Or the the sunlight. Sun well, I would imagine the sunlight. All right, then. the sunlight. The sun. The sunlight. Yeah, the sunlight in there. Gabe. Now, how many seconds? Right. So we're going to get that. There you go. How many seconds does it take for the sun to sun of the light of the sun to reach the Earth? Yeah. Let us know. Kate's going to give us a give us a, a, an answer Where? whenever she whenever she she gets it. So. That's a tough one. You need to be a scientist for that. No. Or have a really fast Google. Yeah, just be idea. But everybody seems to know that these days. But, uh, you know, it's, it's incredible how powerful the sun is, and, and so much is going towards solar. Like, right. Yeah, you're right. So much uh, products are being powered by solar these days. And uh, I wonder if we're going to get tools powered by solar. Let's see. Not very pretty, pretty soon. But what we're giving away today, oh, yeah, which is also good. powered by the sun, is a tough tested, awesome Bigfoot solar battery bank. It's yeah. got all sorts of stuff. It's got um, uh, 2400 mAh, which is, I'm sure, megahertz. megahertz. Uh, it charges, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of charging power. It's like we said, it's solar, it's solar, it's waterproof, it's shockproof. It's just got didn't three do ports. too well in high school, did you? <laughs> I was dumb. I was a real dunce. <laughs> Science and now and geography and now science. Not really. When I heard the word megahertz, I thought it was going to be painful. Give me that. This is nice. I want one of these. Can I get one of these? Yeah, well, talk to them. Giving it away to other people, but I want one. Use that. Charge all your stuff up with that. That, that, would, that, would be, that is something that you don't go camping without anymore. Yeah, you need to have that these days. Because your phone's dead? Yeah. Charge it. Just charge it with that. Put in your backpack. Awesome. Thank you, Tough Tested. Congratulations to the winner. Yeah, the winner is Brian Demko. Demko. Brian Demko. Brian Demko. Yeah, Brian Demko. With a K. Congratulations, Brian. Brian, good job, buddy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're not having any of you come on because we kept shutting down before. Yeah. So the answer, by the way, was 500 seconds. 500 seconds for the sunlight to reach the earth. You wonder why seconds. we didn't do minutes? It's because it was a weird number. It, it, was, like, it was like a weird number. So, it's, so not math wasn't one of your no, I, was a, I was a real dunce, I told you. <laughs> this is what? I have to, I have to make a, a living on my personality, not my yeah. math skills. Oh, so you guys aren't doing, I'm doing, not doing good. You're not living too high on the hog. I'll tell you that. All right, well, good for you, John, uh, Brian. Good for yeah. you, Brian, for figuring that one out in seconds and not minutes. Congratulations. So there's the other thing, guys. So uh, you know how we like to do contests, right? Every, every once in a while, we get everybody involved, all our follower base, and it's a good way for everybody to meet each other, kind of thing, right? Yeah. So we did just recently did a uh, contest for outdoors, outdoor WTI contest, right? We had like almost thirty entries, I believe. Close to yeah, well, thirty entries. And so out of those thirty entries, we picked how many winners? Uh, five winners. Five winners. Five winners. So, all right, five winners are going to be winning this knife. That's a right knife behind you over there on that. Oh. Oh. There you go. Let me show you guys. This is a handy little knife that you can take camping, open envelopes, whatever you want to do with it. This knife is actually a really lightweight. It's very sturdy. It's got a locking mechanism on it, but it's got a belt clip. Now it's okay, locked. Can you see that? Now it's locked. No, right. This is my, this is mine. This is the one I carry around. You're not getting it. And. Uh, Look at that, nice and folded and light, and you can take that with you whenever you go anywhere outdoors. Just a handy knife to have around. I think so it might actually go on your keychain, it's that small. No, it's not. Really? It's not another keychain? No, it's a belt. It's clips on your belt. Look, I'll right. show you. I suppose. Look, what's this hole here for? No, on your pants. Know. What's this hole in your pants here for? Well, what are you poking at that for? Just clip, on, just clip on there if you want. Just cut your bike cord. Or just throw it in your pocket. It's light enough for that. So congratulations to the five winners who took the time to post a picture uh, for the contest. So, so we're going to take the time to announce the winners. And the more of you that did that, the better. Here's our first winner. Uh, 
Uh, and his name is very hard to pronounce, Matt. It's uh, Gilv Tint 7.3. Gilv Tint 7.3. Gilv is one of them. TNT. Actually, looks like he had a lot of fun. Having fun. Oh, yeah, we like uh, that. This is the picture he posted. So he's coming out quadrant. That's fun. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, love him. All right. And uh, the girls picked this guy because yeah. he's ripped. Did you pick this guy or did the girls pick him? The girls picked him. Okay. Are you sure? Because yeah, I mean, no, you're in charge of who wins. No, I didn't. Okay. But his form is good. But Pams.pens. Congratulations. Pams.pens. Pams.pens for that one. And good for you, sir. Yeah, maybe yeah. Stop, maybe stop working out of it. Yeah, you're making it look bad. Congratulations, though, to you. And then uh, Dennis. Dennis Larimer. Dennis Larimer, that's it. I was, I was, I was, Dennis Larimer. 1949. That's like. That might be his date of birth. Yeah. But he's out there fishing, and that's that good looks to like see. That. Uh, that's not dad's age. Oh, dad's age, 1949. Dad, no, dad's 50. Anyway. Uh, and then finally, HVAC Artisan. Is it final? I think so. It's four. No. And it's four. Five. And uh, hey, look at this guy. He is. This guy's, he this guy's ready for the outdoors. Look at this. Or he might be uh, uh, one of those guys that, that packs for the end of the world. Yeah, it's, <laughs> he's one of those yeah, last age survivors. But, uh, but he's got some nice gear. And then finally, another family man taking his kids out snowshoeing is uh, Birch Tree Farm. Birch Tree Farm. Congratulations, y'all got that knife. Five winners of a great little knife that you guys are going to love. And thank you, Coast, for providing that for our guys. Appreciate that one. Remember now, we're doing the uh, the, the the bonus uh, tool of the month, right? So we're going to give that away in just a second. But as usual, like we say, we like we like uh, our, our our fans who support us and who comment. Um, and so this is the winner, the commenter of the week, right? His name is Iron Hammer 20. Iron Hammer uh, 21. He, is, uh, he had a nice white sea bass while back when we asked him what his best catch was. Yeah. And uh, he won uh, a shirt and a hat from WTI as well. Hey, remember when uh, you ever watched The Office? Of course. Remember when Michael, uh, what, he had to go, he went, went and did it on his own out in the, out in the woods? <laughs> he ended up like tearing up his pants. He had to like cut up his pants yeah. and drive. He ran out with Dwight. Dwight spun him around so hard that he couldn't. That he was lost. Like he didn't know where he was going. And Dwight just stayed on the distance. This survivor. I love that show. That was great. That was a funny thing. I just saw that because of my cup. Not to rub it in, but I got a world's best boss cup. It's just the same. He did. Done for. He got it himself. I didn't buy it myself. But I go. Oh well. All right. So who's what we got left? We, we have, have one, one thing left, and that is to go to what. What we're going to do today is because of the tool of the month that we're. Is on our app. We're giving you a freebie today. All you have to do is enter outdoors, and it's going to give you one more free guess entry to um, enter the uh, to the tool of the month. And so you're that much closer to the tool of the month. This is the fifth time I've dropped this phone today. All right. So listen. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining us tonight. We gave away fun. we gave we gave away about five hundred dollars in bucks for the stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we always love it when you guys come on. So you got the fire back on. Got our fire back on. So I want to. I want to. I can smell the chili cooking there. That's nice. Nobody mm -hmm. eats chili when they're camping. Maybe like a uh, stew. Maybe they eat chili. You didn't win tonight, so they're gonna we're gonna eat chili. You're eating chili. You're nice guys. You want. Guys, thanks for playing. As you. We know. don't have a monitor for some reason. Our monitor went out, so we can't say we goodbye. Can't say goodbye to anybody. But, but thanks for coming on. Please tell your friends to join us. Have some fun with us. We have fun with you. We love doing this. The more people that come on, the bigger the prizes. Yeah. So keep it up, guys, and we will see you. Hasta mañana.